going to the A team. It's been on a bit long. We gone live. Yep, we're on. We're back on Twitch. See us on Facebook yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that, Fano. We are back. Hopefully, our video mixer has stabilized somewhat. Hey, so, Dad, you were saying that, um, yeah, I was watching on line. I think it was on Annette Sykes. She posted up a, a, a video of um, Tina Wycliffe doing her fight court at all. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. I think uh, I'm pretty open about that, uh, about the fact that, uh, you know, time changed in the way we do things. I mean, if we allow, if we allow the, uh, the Christian faith to conduct itself uh, in, uh, on, on their marae ate, it's, it's, it's no different for us that, you know, bringing uh, the voice. I think it'd be really mm. interesting. Uh, I'd like mm. to, it to be up and... Uh, with uh, you know, with a uh, with a wahine doing the quarter because I have seen it, and, and and I mean I've seen Eva Rickard doing it mm. at uh, Two Nanga Waiwai under the the Maho. and I also seen um, uh, Fire Maklachi uh, the Kuiya, Kinoke mo te kore mo te mo te tuki te kore te te fai kore. Funny because I I find it that um, women like her like fire. You know, she can tell a lot of jokes, good, good storyteller, mm. and she can, you know, it's actually her, her languages, both, she used both the, the real park and the real, doing her fake audio. Mm. Yeah, and very good at it, and uh, it's quite entertaining. And, uh, and, I, and I think it's, um, I mean, having, having um, and it will be a, a good challenge to ourselves and uh, opening up the space there for us to be able to do that. Well, I what, what I've found is, you know, this happened and things didn't fall over. No, no. You know, the world carried on. Yeah. Uh, and women are as good as men in, in pretty much everything. Um, yeah. And often better. Oh, Especially yeah. when it comes to to talking, um, I'm I'm all for it. What, what do you think? Within uh, does that mean then that 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 mean? I mean, you know, it's a very binary argument argument anyway of of just uh, you know the taha wahine and taha tani. Um, I, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, women do have a voice at their, at their not just at the Malayate, but uh, in terms of making decisions within hapu, iwi, and that, and they can be quite uh, out there. And I know with uh, two hoi women, and uh, they're pretty vocal. I find them very vocal. vocal. The ones I know during my period of time, um, yeah, yeah, and I, and I think that, um, you know, um, I mean, two we have talked about it at the Hui Ahu Day. Mm. You know, and uh, they have talked about it. I also, um, uh, Pope Temara last year, when we went over to the, um, uh, to his um, Mihi Whakatau for his ta, sir. And uh, he talked a lot around that, and uh, for women. And maybe, I don't know, it may be a good time to, to have a chat with him and call him, you know, maybe mm. in, a, in the near future. And, uh, and I think it'd be, it'd be good for us to be able to... Because um, at the end uh, of the day, it just takes us to do it, doesn't it? Just yeah, to make yeah, the decision. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. it's uh, us. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I have to change the food here. It's really good to know that we're all in the world today. Mm. Mm-hmm. And then uh, make, make it make a... Uh, uh, 
I mean, you know, we, we can show the main doing giving up the, the two kids to fight for it. Yeah. Well, with the man, with the man, we you maintain the, the mana or the hapu. Oh, so that is a hapu thing, you know. Yeah. And, and there's often times where there are women present who have more sensible things to say than the men present. Oh, of course, of course. That's not hard to do. <laughs> no, it's not. Hey, uh, half the time you see, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 it didn't yeah. happen too often actually. That the up uh, 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 in Nga Farewate at June's uh, Tangiana, yeah, there yeah, were too yeah. many, um, um, you know, blowhards <laughs> that were just getting up and talking for the sake of talking. Most of the, most of everybody that got up, uh, and there was some great corridor actually. What really struck me was the amount of kata kata. Aye, 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 aye. I, I, I know when um, when um, my my mama hukarere hukarere purewa. And um, and I ha- I had she- seen her doing that to uh, to the pay. Go where 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 I be? Eh eh, guys, the chicka te na kore ro adeke, you know like that. In the background, you know, you know, and 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 the and the pay had to. Uh, I think he done it to several fellas. Um, I think to to my to our papa, could buy my gavi. Mm. Just to keep reminding him about um, some of the... Oh, where, where, where did they go, oh, man, you know? Well, there certainly is a conversation that we've had to have with ourselves. That's why I'm quite glad that this is an occasion and, and because of Moana's passing and because he uh, was a <laughs> wish of his that that step was taken at that marae with that hapu. Uh, I certainly don't think that the likes of Judith Collins should be the ones advocating for women speaking on the pie yeah because yeah. she's not allowed to and and applying some sort of well a european paradigm to it it is a conversation that we need to have with ourselves aye, aye. as to whether or not we are ready to evolve and take that step i thought it was great i, th- I thought amazing seeing seeing the likes of tina wickliffe uh of um Kitty Allen, Kitty Tapu Allen, on there doing the fight court at all. Looked amazing. Uh, kia ora kazi, there's the kazhina out there. Yes, I'm still in Bruatuki. Uh, the bro is down here with us in Fakatani at the moment, but he resides still up in Tamaki Makoto. But we're all good kazihina. Our Tuhoi chief. Over on Twitch, may I ask, am I wrong as a Māori for choosing to completely unsubscribe to identity politics? Hmm. What do you mean by that? Well, I guess identity politics. What, what do you mean by identity politics? Are you talking about the... Um, the gender spectrum conversation of he, she, them's kind of corridor identity politics to Hoi Chief. I don't know. Not sure which aspect of it that you're talking about and what you're unsubscribing from. Gender skin colour. Hmm. So are you saying that you take a very traditional approach? Things like white privilege, brown, etc. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Oh, okay. Well, well, Moody Way made the stance to make the changes. Yes. The data. You mean Fakatani O E O? Oh, aye, 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 aye. Yeah, that's right. Yep. She took the stance to 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 be able to uh Yep, to do what is not normally done by a woman. Take control of the Matatua Waka? Yeah. Um, I don't think you're wrong too, Hoji. If I think, you know, each to their own, I don't think it's an as- no, a no, thing about no. being wrong. Um, but you may or may not uh, be able to have a constructive conversation about it. Depends if you want to want to do that completely unsubscribe to identity politics yeah I, I'm when it comes to things like white privilege 
Um, I've actually brought the conversation about white privilege up in my role as a regional councillor um, with regards to systemic racism, institutionalised bias and racism, not talking about one-on-one -on -one prejudice, but institutionalised and systemic racism and how many councillors, uh, in my view, had a white privilege. And when I'm saying white privilege, I'm not talking about skin colour. I'm not talking about white as in skin colour. I'm talking about white as in Pakia, as in European white culture and the privilege uh, that you experience in uh, being a part of that culture. You, you still with us there, bro? Oh no, can't hear you. Cannot hear you. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Uh, Are you getting that? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, 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 you're here now. Uh, David, the one or a little confused when you said women can't speak on the pie until we evolve uh no no i wasn't saying that i'm saying are we ready to evolve to culturally evolve to culturally shift and transition into uh new spaces you generally when the you know evolution is a process of adaptation where you adapt to the environment so when your culture adapts and shifts and evolves to include women speaking on the pie because the environmental factors that caused women not to speak on the pie are no longer factors that need to necessarily be taken into consideration, possibly. That's the argument, I think. Are we able to adapt now? Because it is actually more vital that women speak on the pie because actually a lot of pie are, are struggling. Isn't that right, Dad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, up, up not, not just a woman then. It's also the... Um in terms of numbers, there's a lot of a lot of you know that oh, yeah, communities yeah, 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 yeah. that do not have the number of, of, of speakers. Yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. so <coughs> if you are in those communities, but you have women speakers, women who can speak, then why would you not? That's the kind of environmental factor that would shift the adaptation of your culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, don't, don't forget that the, the, the voice is not just on, just if you're only talking about the marae atea. Yeah. It's just breaking down. Right. I mean, there's also the chuakana taina stuff too, you know, and opening the space there for the taina to get up and, uh, and, um, and do a kōrero. Um, yeah, and so all of that too. Mm. And um, that's a conversation on its own, just between the whānau, you know, the brothers, uh, I know that with my uh, our father uh, Tame, uh, who's the Tiokana, uh, given their role to his uh, kitana taiva, you know, and um, um, mainly because he, that he wasn't he wasn't home, kare de kaina, so he was living somewhere else. He lived in Waikato, and uh, and I've been to those conversations with the three brothers, uh, Nai, and uh, Nai. Um, yeah, and Hiki and, uh, and Tummy. Yeah, and so, uh, and the, the word he used was noho waha nua hau. Ake noho kota kota ina hai tui te kōrero. And that's between, that's I said with my brother and I, with the mataku. Uh, mo te tui te whai kōrero nei te marae. So, uh, so we, we both agreed, he uh, given me the permission uh, to be the two get the fai kōrero. But he still, he still maintain the tuakana tana o te whānau. Mm. Mm. It's just a different roles and responsibility. Mm. And, uh, and it's a conversation that um, it's really important that uh, uh, ke kōrero, ke kōrero te whānau around that. Mm. Hana, ko mana. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I, I remember uh, our, one of our kuya, the mahurehure, actually uh, put the challenge on their, on their uncle Hiki. Yeah, but I think he missed the point. 
he was the same. Mm. Uh, we not just deal with, with the men, but also with women about mm. maintaining whether they are ready to let go of that. You know, it's, it's a quarter that we need to uh, that we need to talk about. You know, one and what that would look like, mm. what does that mean? You know, in the world and how far. Yeah. He manuite rai kuru mana mana hapu mana fana. Kote mea kote mea nui sa ke mau tihi te wehi e te wan. Yeah. Kia ora, who's who's over in uh, Parihaka? Still over there, bro, with your fano. Kia ora, he's uh, tuned in. Uh, and what do we have down the bottom here was Stepper. Ten aku Stepper for your subscription over on Twitch. Yeah, what? Kia ora, kia ora. And kia ora, Māori Maiden. Thank you for coming in and with your green sword and booting all the bots out of our stream. Kia ora. Uh, Tuhoi Chief. Oh, shout out to... What's that? Pale Ale is back as well. Oh, so Pale, Pale Ale. Ale was... Uh, he, he came in earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Kia ora, boat. And um, Tuhoi Chief. Aroha mai e hoa. Kia roha. Kia kaha, kia mai. Um, no, I know that one, my... Um, my kids are pretty white themselves, so I, I understand using that word uh, white with you know, if your kitty ma holds mummy as well. So that's why that's why I was prefacing with with the word white with actually white culture, um, which I guess just becomes a terminology that we can use. But we could say European culture, we could say European uh, privilege. I actually know people who who identify. And this could be identified politi identity politics, politics, but they identify. I thought it was interesting. They identify as Pakia with Whakapapa. And they don't mean that in a disrespectful way. They mean that in a way that they know they have Whakapapa, but they weren't brought up inside of that Whakapapa, and they experienced the privilege that came with being considered European. And so they were okay with that they knew they had whakapapa they acknowledged that whakapapa but they still also acknowledged the fact that they were uh, had european privilege in the way that they were brought up and their education and that they hadn't had didn't have to deal with uh some of the issues that their darker skinned cousins had to deal with potentially so that was interesting <coughs> Oh, there's Oz is just saying that uh, his boy's got COVID and uh, so he's having to isolate at the moment. But good to see you online here, bro. Old Axiom, uh, Axiom Ultra. Your Axiom. Yeah, it would be good to get him online oh, too, on uh, Oz. Oh, yeah. Want to come on, Oz? Yeah, we well, called about that hill. You know, somebody who came here and learned that hill. You know, and uh, he um, very totally uh, moved to the Taraki, the the Mita or Taranaki. You know, and uh, yeah, it'll be good for you to come up on uh, on board, uh, bro. Well, fuck a bit of a car on the way, huh? You know, we can get on with that. We it all real. Hmm. I mean, he speak he speak other languages. You know, he's he's Swiss. The boat, yeah. So, uh, yeah, get waiting to put you online. You're very much part of the, our uh, conversation. I'll just, uh, I'll give you a quick instant message there, Oz, and see if you're around, if you're available, all good. If, uh, if it's a bit short notice, all good as well. Yeah, yeah. There's Moana Jackson, you put on one of your Ida Tuma Tuma. Yeah. Yeah, 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 over here. But uh, that one there.
E até fala de. There's been some great um, postings on Instagram and Facebook and uh, over on TikTok as well of uh, video footage of Moana back in the day advocating in such a calm manner. It reminded me of watching Malcolm X and those old that old footage up against white men. Yeah. Oh, just doing an incredible job. I saw some footage recently of uh, Moana on there with Jerry Brownlee, who was at the time the National Party's <laughs> spokesperson for Māori issues. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah. I remember uh, Jerry because I invited him as to uh, to open my exhibition. Oh, Meet the Prick, that's right. Yeah, Meet the Prick. He didn't know he was the prick. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when he, because uh, uh, he he was a he was a minister. Uh, he had a portfolio, and uh, at the um, at the opening of the uh, Maori TV uh, over in New Market, and I heard the corridor that he having difficulties getting Maori to invite him uh, to uh, a Maori conversation. I said, oh, I hear you having a bit of a problem there. Uh, Jerry, he said, yeah. I want to invite you to come and open my uh, exhibition down on K Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he gave me his phone number. <laughs> and we, he confirmed it with me. Yep, he'll be there. He'll be there with uh, uh, the Ho Ho, uh, Georgina. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And Georgina was her, was her, brown, was her brown face. Yeah, and, um, and so he, he turned up. And so immediately I, I, I called the, um, I gave a title to the exhibition called Meet the Prick. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know that he was the prick. So anyway, he was the prick, I'm a prick. Mm. A good prick and a bad prick, I don't know. It was just a, a, was a, a name. Yeah, Meet the Prick. A so giggle, where is he? Gaggle of Pricks. Oh uh, yeah, so he was on there saying, you know, the normal, yeah. Rhetoric of we can't be basing policy on racial lines and Moana was just so calm talking about Oh yeah. In, in, in a beautifully yeah. eloquent and gentle way of saying that the need was caused by the breaches of the treaty. And then to say that meeting the needs caused by those breaches, calling that privilege was outrageous. And it is outrageous. Mm. And it was, he just put it in a very eloquent, simple, gentle way and yeah. made Jerry just look like a buffoon and a politician. <laughs> like a, a politician playing to a particular demographic. And, and that's the problem half the time with it's a, it's a challenge within democracy where you have politicians who play to ignorance and prejudice for votes. So, Moana yep. was incredible in that situation in those spaces, but he was also incredible in the academic papers that he wrote, the role modeling and stewardship that he gave to young lawyers and advocates. So that's why you saw such an amazing turnout for him. Yeah. Yes, I just, I'm just laughing at... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Winnie. <laughs> Winnie. <laughs> and I'm sure um, Winnie will no. be having another go this, this term. <clears throat> uh, kia ora to Regan. Uh, Belza Arts, uh, Kia Tena Koto, Tena oh, yeah. Koto, rather. Belza. Yeah. So he's the one, yeah. Regan Belza Arts. Yeah, he's a good artist. That's not haha, -ha, is it? I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure. going to check that out.
Winston Peters reminds me of Steven from Django, but the Māori version. Oh no, that's not that's not hard. That's the Samuel Jackson uh, character, wasn't it? Yeah. Māori code governance, I feel, is going to be Jacinda's flag referendum. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Um, I've just heard back from Urs. He couldn't do it. He's got to go look after his sick boy. Um, oh, Kia ora okay. Urs, no problem. Um, but uh, we, we'll, we'll get him in next week, Dad. So I'm just, I'll okay. tee that up with him. So either Monday or Thursday there, Urs. And uh, that's who we were talking about, um, Jacinda. Jacinta, uh, you were asking about who we were talking about with the... Uh, Dad was talking about uh, Tamita Otereo. He was talking about uh, our bro, Ul Signa, from, uh, who's, who's in Taranaki. Mm. Yeah, I actually agree with you, Māori Maiden. I think Winston is best in the cross benches. He, is, he, he does an incredible job of throwing rocks you know and, th- and that's the role of of a quality opposition is to be able to just hold that power and authority to account to just be constantly lobbing rocks over there to just make sure that people are doing their best that they're not resting on their laurels that you've got somebody there who's who's watching them uh, and winston does an incredible job of that i've never been a fan of winston once he's in power i haven't seen anything really that he's pushed through that um oh he did he pushed yeah. Jacinda through. He did push Jacinda through. And he did push the, um, you know, I had to give him for the PGF, the PGF fund that uh, Uncle Shane was it's... going around the country dishing out, you know, wrestling $3 billion from Treasury and going into small communities and and dishing, uh, dishing that out, I think, um, was pretty incredible. Uh, of course, you can't forget the gold card. That was all winning. Yeah. Um... It's us, gold card. Yeah. <laughs> you got a gold card. You got a gold card, eh, Dad? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to use it. I, I haven't got anything out of it. Or oh, other than um, you get a uh, cut down on our power bills. Yeah, we, oh, yeah. we get an increase, and in, uh, I see the prime minister send another notice. To that's us that's to a good point. Home. You know, in the cities, you mm. get free public transport. Yeah. Yeah. But we don't have any public transport out here, so you kind of yeah, miss out no, on that. No. That's a bit of a yeah. yeah. Air travel. Uh, Where Hickey Island on the boat? Um, nah, you don't, you no, don't get it no, on, no, on no, air no. travel. Uh, you get a free ride on the boat to Way Hickey Island. Yup. <laughs> you oh, have the a flash mod eye. You have yeah. a gold card. Everybody gets a gold card and a flash mod eye. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just yeah. responding to well, it. Uh, on fire tonight. To uh, some of our Twitch fan. Oh, they're, they're, they're being noisy as over on Twitch. That's good. Kilda, Kilda. <laughs> yeah, Winston absolutely came out of the National Party. i got to give it to Winston. That story of he well, was... Be. It was incredible. He was with Jim Bolger. And, and Helen Clark. Oh, well, he was with, he was in Jim Bolger's um, cabinet when Jim Bolger was in, in, in power in the National Party. And then MMP came in and he started his own party. Uh, and then he became Deputy Prime Minister under Jenny Shipley. After he got booted out of the National Party, he came back. Like, he, that's incredible. Yeah. You know, so so Dad, where where was he during all of your stuff, all your Na Tamato stuff? Because it was quite interesting hearing from um, from Tingy uh, Ness, you know, the other yeah. the other night when he was on talking about Rob Muldoon going to Jamaica with um, with yeah. the crew that went over there, and then. And you know you're kind of like oh, and so he's he's of your guys' generation. I I I. Well, Winston. he was. He's yeah. a little bit older. He's seventy six. 
Yeah, right. yeah, no, well, yeah, generation. But he was, he was at uh, Auckland University, and uh, and people like uh, Donna Awatere was uh, was uh, with him. Yeah, at right. the, the, all the Maoris at university during that period of time. I mean, even then he was uh, quite um, uh, vocal. And um, but other than that, he, he really didn't put himself on uh, on board about talking about more our issues pertaining to Tana Tafenio that I can remember, mm. Mm, and not at all, but he more gravitated to uh, mainstream politics, and um, yeah, and that was him. Uh, who was the other fellow, the, um, the, the, the army guy, Ron? Ron Mark. Oh yeah, no, Ron Mark. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I had a go at him. Yep. Because uh, I confronted him at the airport there, yeah, from Wellington Airport. You know, he was he was saying funny things about me, you know, when we got a for the police raid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was pretty he was yeah, pretty, pretty hardcore. Loud. Yeah, he was pretty loud. Yeah, he was very loud. And I um yeah, and I oh, that's the man I want the man I want to see. And you were trying to avoid me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, if you got anything to say, to say to my face. I'm standing here right now. Call it on my. You know, you know mm, 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 mm. And they didn't really say anything. You know, and uh, you didn't expect me to confront him in front of everybody, I guess. It just said publicly. It wasn't just by himself. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, not now for Carl. Yeah, yeah. But I hear, um, um, you know, Shane is standing, standing again. Yeah, Shane is standing again. I asked him the other day. Yeah. And uh, he's making another run of it. Yep. And, and potentially with the whole COVID stuff and, you know, Winnie turning up down at the Freedom Camp and blah, 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 potentially they may have some votes in that. I'm yep. sure that's why he turned up. It wasn't a altruistic thing of Winnie's to go down there. He was uh, certainly, yeah, no, no, not for Labour, Paliale, for New Zealand first. Oh, Shane, Shane's going in with New Zealand first. Yeah, yeah. Shane Jones. Oh, yeah. Uh, kia ora, Myra Gay, Myra Gay, Porkbone, good to see you. Pualani, kia ora, whereabouts in Europe are you, Pualani? We've got Ike uh, now Aikisha, Aikisha Rosex, you're over there on YouTube. I haven't even t I haven't even looked at what's um, what's happening on YouTube. So, kia ora to any whanau that are over there. We've got uh, Tawake from in Melbourne. Kia ora. Tawake. They've been, uh, they're, this, they're, they're still getting smashed by floods as well, aren't they? Uh, in Melbourne? Oh, I don't know if it's in Melbourne. I just know the Aussies just get, yeah, just getting the, ar they're well, getting well, the well, arse well. end of everything that has to do with climate change. Oh wait, there's Bruce Bruce Papanui saying Jesus is coming soon. Then the judgment of God. Okay, okay that's that's uh, that's pretty heavy. Um, Jesus. See how that one goes. Yeah. Amos Makamaka, kia ora. And where's Jesus from? What is he? He's a Jew. Jew. Oh. Is, is that uh, New Zealand Jesus or oh, Jesus well, Jesus? It could be Jesus. Baby Maybe Jesus. He's, Mm. Um, Yvonne, kia ora. Nadine. Oh, Sydney is where the oh, okay. um, where the flood uh, the floods. Thanks, Marcus. <laughs> I like that one. What's, What's that? 
Uh, therefore, tell Jesus to pull up to, to this channel as a geese and explain how he lost his tan and got blue eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just seen the picture of uh, Jesus with blue eyes. Mm. You might have to ask the Roman Catholics about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, magic. That's right. Jesus was the magic Jew, wasn't he? <coughs> oh, Marcus C is saying in Queensland. So yeah, the, both. Uh, to oh, end, wow. I think it sounds like the East Coast. East Coast is getting hit pretty hard. And I felt, it felt like it stopped for a bit and then it's come back again, so. <clears throat> so if you... The, oh, no, you go. Oh, no, oh, I was just going to ask Dad. Dad, you're... Um, is this oil you're working with today? Yeah, yeah, it's oil. It's oil, it's oil really nice to work with. Totally different, you just use, you don't use a brush. <coughs> just use this, that's a tool you can use. Um, really nice to play with. Got a lot of texture on it, and uh, as you can see. And, um, yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Nice and... Um, Mm. Do you think this 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 or when we're on these streams, Dad, and we're just talking? Do you think it kind of does stuff to your art as you're doing it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think uh, having different conversation with people um, it helps me to see what I'm doing because it responds in the way people see the art, and yeah, kind of help me to kind of develop. It's just, uh, almost my, my brain is, is all, all automatic. It's the way the layers. It's quite quite different working on this than um, than you working with um, uh, with acrylic water based paints. And um, but oil is um, so different in the in the way you're moving, shaping, and moving, shaping. So you can almost see a whole lot of things there. Um, yeah, and you should just use that tool. Nice tool to work with, you know, and um, you're not really with brush. And fast, I find it. Um, mind you, I've been, I've been on this one for two years. This paint here, there's actually uh, layers and layers. Of, there's about 10 other um, layers of paint in there. So it'll be around uh, for a long time. So it's, it's quite a piece, piece of work. Yeah. And so I'm almost sort of kind of deal with that and just leave it to dry. And, uh, and you don't go back on that at all in another, probably another two or three weeks. And it's a, I mean, the weather's really hot. It's a lot hotter than normal. Crazy hot for April. Yeah, it's really, it's a hot. Yeah, you know, there it's like somewhere here. So to help you, uh, I thought I'd better do this uh, this mahi, and um, I haven't used uh, this tube for for a while. Yeah. He has been sitting up at my place for about eighteen months. Yeah, yeah, at least yeah for for that. Yeah. 
how you started that in, in, in the first lockdown, I think. Yeah, I think that's the first one I done with the uh, when I first got all these um, uh, this canvas from Auckland. Yeah, but uh, really important is to get a good quality um, canvas if you want to um, you know put add more to it. And uh, so I still got about a half a dozen of these. I haven't quite finished it. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yep, there is a product I know I don't try not to use it too much. Just a little, let the paint you know, well let the uh, the oil dry a bit longer. There, there is a product you kind of add on. There's a bit of oil. Yeah, but um, yeah. So here we are. Um, I've just I've turned my mic down. I've turned my mic down a little bit, there, uh, Mighty. So um, hopefully you're not. Uh, I'm not as loud now coming through. Just let me know. I can lower it a bit. Always appreciate the feedback. Unless it's actual microphone feedback. <laughs> yeah, we have uh, had musicians on Paul Bunkett. Uh, we have had uh, a few musicians on over the since we started doing this. Um, probably get some yeah, we've more. Yeah, we've had Fidimako, uh, Fidimako Black, Lords and Quarter, Hani, Hani. Uh, we had Delaney uh, Davidson. Yeah, who else? Oh, we had uh, Don McGlashan and um, Lords. Yeah, yeah, we had Lords. And, what was the sister's name? Sorry. Her name just popped out of my head. Vix. Yeah, Vic. Vixen. Vox. 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 Vixen. Was it Vixen? No, Vox. Vox. Yeah, Vox. Yeah. Vox. yeah. Um, some of those are still floating around in the page too, uh, Porkbone. So uh, you can actually catch them. We don't delete them, so they're in the. They're, they're actually on the page. So. Yeah, he totally is. He's. He's. We may not have a Maori Jesus, but we got a Maori Santa. Santa Claus. I know. I've got. I was. I was going to get my. Haircut down in Wellington, but uh, didn't quite get there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had DLT on. Oh, yeah. Bring his, uh, his classic self. And uh, George. Chuck on the George. No, the guests are quite good. Uh, it's it gets tricky for us to um, to get every to get people on. Um, yeah, we don't have a time. producer. Yeah, we should go for funding, I suppose. You did say that before, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I was talking to uh, Burns, Bernie, or Bernie O'Donnell. He was like, "Oh, they 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 would put it on right there as a platform." Oh, true. Yeah. So you know that's a another platform so if we had that support as well we could probably get some funding and pay a producer to to um get guests on for us because <laughs> it takes a lot of work you know i mean we're doing other things as well we like to come on here and if it works out yeah, it works yeah, out it work well. yeah go to patrick yeah i mean we could cut we could cut some of these stuff these things up as well right eh? Yeah. Time. Yeah, well, it would be great to, have, to be able to pay somebody to come in and cut them up. And, uh, you know, because it takes a bit of time. Unless anybody's out there wants to come in and do that for free. <laughs> yeah. Well, unless it. we get funding, then we can pay you. Yeah, totally. Um, yes, there's a TMP. Um, I'm sure there's probably is some funding out there that we could apply for. Were you thinking TMP funding? Uh, potentially, we would just have to put in a bit of a. We probably have to up our real rate, which is okay. Yep. Yeah, we can do that.
It's actually what I like about over on Twitch too, is like, you know, and this format, you don't have to be filling every space. Yeah. I mean, you know, this, this stream started out with people just watching dad paint. And it started on Twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that on Twitch? I mean, that's how we kind of started it out on yeah, Twitch. Yeah, it did start on Twitch. Yeah. And, um, and we got a raid by Spell. About f- yep. 500 people turned up. Watch Dad paint. Well, hey, we're coming up to a year, actually, because that's... Oh, no, no, we're not. Sorry. I, I, I think I'm in September now, but I'm actually not. It's because I'm thinking about September. But... um. That was, was it September? Around. We started in September. Well, it was just before, yeah, that... Um, that, that second lockdown. Yeah, because there was lots of stuff. It was just before September because we got invited to be part of the New Zealand Twitch group. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, to throw a question okay patrick what's your question how do you think your dad is perceived and thought of by new zealand public these days do you think his contribution to the history of modern aotearoa is recognized and tell me how do you think you are perceived by the new zealand public i don't know what do you okay (laughs) i i know uh, people people see me a lot different than i was about 20 30 years ago uh, for most people who use, see people like me and others, I'm not the only one they're out there. Um, yeah, they're, they're, I, I definitely they're... don't think there's there's like the thing with you, Dad, and I, I've always thought this is people project. They project themselves onto you, so you can be a freedom fighter. You yeah, can yeah. be a, uh, a you know a, an annoying Maori radical. You could be, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. And it, it really kind of, and it's, it's been fascinating to watch over time. You know, you can be an artist or you could be um, Cyclist. a spokesperson. Yes, yeah, so, you know. <laughs> so there's always um, varying um, ideas on who Tame Iti is based on the individual's feeling about what it is that he might be talking about at the time. I think right it certainly now, shifted. A bunch of, yeah, it certainly shifted, Patrick, over the last little bit, and people are much more inclined to see Dad now as a person who has stood his ground when it has come to his values and principles. I think that's the clearest card or that I have picked up when I've spoken to people when they really identify with them so you're talking about Pākehā and Māori but uh, there's a lot of older Pākehā women talking 55 plus who really identify with his doing what he thought was the right thing to do regardless of opposition and they really identify with that energy and that value and those principles and respect him for that it's always interesting walking along with dad and if you're wandering around behind him by a couple of meters and he's up you see people go past and they do a double take and then they turn around they nudge the person next to them and point him out so he's certainly very recognizable a recognizable person and he's nearly become you could say iconic but like an icon of Māori rights advocacy and activism and like why did I think you're right bro in saying that people project those things on him it's like how people project things onto say Shea Guevara or onto Bob Marley or onto these people who become synonymous with a movement or with a cause so dad's face has certainly become synonymous with Māori rights activism 
which has been validated. So in turn, he has been validated. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I, I always, I, like, the thing that used to always, something that used to, I used to enjoy seeing was when you and I used to work at the classic comedy and bar on Queen Street mm. as bartenders and dad would come in and 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 people couldn't quite it was like that um the convergence of opposites it's like they didn't quite understand that Tamiyati could come to a comedy bar to start with or that, that that's something that he could be enjoy and and people's fear would come out oh my god that's Tamiyati that's the you know he's the he's the radical and then but then he was there to see his sons and so there was also this other so there were these two kind of components that would i i recognize it particularly when there was a few staff members who were like your dad is so intimidating and um we're scared of him you know and then but then he's just sitting at the bar hanging out waiting for his sons to finish work and and that just messed with their heads a bit to kind of break that uh that preconceived notion of what a radical does or when he they would see us being affectionate to each other right because they had come to perceive him through the media as somebody who was scary and violent so to see him with his sons to see us being affectionate to each other I think was surprising for people. Mm. Māori Madian saying, uh, I used to be scared of you from the stories that I was told. Yeah, then yeah, I heard yeah. you speak about kanohi ki te kanohi, and I felt like I knew where you were coming from. Māori Madian, was that the TED talk you're talking about? Is that is that where you kind of felt that you you kind of understood something? That shifted a lot of people. Or was it something else? Was it... The TED talk shifted a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. 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 I, I know that when when you when we wrote that, eh, Dad? That that was that there was definitely yeah. the target was middle class yeah. white, white women. Like, how do we get them to understand yeah. you and what it was that you've been doing in a way? So, and at the same time, you reached Maori maidens. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's just really kind of, um, you know, creating a creating a sort of a, a way to a, like a bite-sized message, I guess. That that's what you did in that, in that TED talk that people yeah. could um, digest. Yeah, I, I, think I, thought... al- I think also the power of it coming from your mouth as well, and versus coming, you know, like the narrative is coming from. A documentary maker or a reporter or something like that yeah yeah mm. no interesting interesting mm. Oh, what's that? So, Pork, Porkbone, you're saying there is at Nazi Gaming is an up and coming Māori organisation looking to become the first Māori based, Māori centric esports fano, trying to get Māori into the world of gaming. That would be a good corridor. Totally. Yeah? Bully down. Man. We down. At, at Nazi Gaming. Oh, he's saying Axiom is the guy. True. You're going to come on our Axiom. Too easy. <laughs> he's all like, settle down, bro. <laughs> oh, bro, you've been lurking around in our channel for a little while now, Axiom. So we'd, we'd love to have you on. Yeah. Why not?
Who else is in that po, bro? Of Nazi Gaming. Are you all on Twitch? I actually thought it'd be cut. quite funny if we did, um, if we, uh, did some live streaming of Dad Gaming. Yeah, we were going to put him in Beat Saber on the green screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we could do that, actually. Yeah, we need some help with, um, the whole Twitch Discord sort of thing because um, yeah we need some help on that <laughs> if, we, if we were to truly do that because I, I don't think I can do another platform I don't think I can I, I just don't have enough time with what I've got already I have I have set up a, a Discord for Dad's uh, channel I just haven't yeah but you got to participate it. that's the whole thing is you got to actually yeah. be there we've got to be there so we need a we need 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 an advocate we need a if if you guys think that you know what we talk about and who we bring on and, and the sort of content we create uh would bring value to uh certain corners of twitch i mean we already are we've got our own corner but um you know i know it takes actual another sort of degree of engagement to be able to pull certain people in I'll tell you the other one is because i you know i've done some tiktok content my boy's doing loads of tiktok content now and is like smashing it um but these guys doing lives on there who are getting really solid audiences yeah and for, for us it's just about you know reaching an audience and who who would like to i think there are people who who do enjoy this? We got regulars who certainly turn up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anything to do with Copa Pa Māori. Me next, Jim. True. Oh well, let's have a quarter door. Yeah, we all did. We had um, when we first came on, and and I'm there's still. Um, you know, there was Spell and, and a lot of the, the peeps that were inside his community. Um, my Raki Uh, Just for Kicks, Brox. Uh, all well, those are all the Twitch Fano. Yeah, I think TikTok does have the greatest reach because the numbers my boy is getting on TikTok on doing, and he does Māori content. He does, you know, the different men, the different tāne, different tāne that you find on the pie, matua man spread, and he'll do the matua man spread, and then he'll do matua smokes a pack a day as this fella, you know, it's him coughing. Uh, but that got like something, I think he's up to 20,000 likes. You would never get that over on Instagram or over on on uh, Facebook or any other platform. Over a hundred thousand views and twenty thousand likes is huge for a kid of. So th the algorithm works hard, and obviously it's o only Maori would actually be liking their content because no one else would fucking understand what the hell he was on about. Um, so yeah, it's got a huge reach. TikTok. I must say, I haven't actually, um, I haven't been on Twitch a little bit to, um, haven't, haven't had a chance to stop in and see, sp uh, see Spell's show for a little, for a little while. So, yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I picked up with Twitch. Is actually, it's actually a real community thing. You've got to be active within the community to build audience, and mm. and um, I just don't think we have had that. Um, And then, of course, we stream this also to YouTube and to Facebook. All the fun out on Facebook. But they're a lot more quiet tonight. We've got most of our uh, conversation happening over on Twitch. Is that an oil one too, my father? Hi. Mm. Yeah, I've got a few of them here. I've got a few of them. T on Facebook. She's asked the question: Has this always been a father and son's relationship you've always had? This father and son. It really is an awesome thing to see and listen to. Uh, I think no. I, 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 yeah. I mean, no. Yeah. Always. Yeah, yeah. Always, <laughs> always did. Um, ever since you guys were young, with your music and you know, supportive. Yeah, like all relationships, final relationships, it's had, it's had its challenges, you know. Um, but I think we're all pretty, we're all sane. I think we're all pretty, well, why did he question that clearly? Um, I mean, I mean, to qualify the word sane, I would say I think we're all actually calm, reasonable, fair people. And so, and we're pretty chill, actually. Uh, you might not think it with some of the, you know. I, I guess dad's dad's mellowed out. You've mellowed out somewhat over the years, but yeah. you know, we've always yeah, we've always, you know. I think I had a time when I was about eleven or twelve where, you know, I was uh, the relationship was uh, a little bit. Tense. Um, but I've had that with my kids as well. We, I think we all, we've all had that. So, nah, we're all goods. We're all goods. Glad you, uh, Tan's Tea, Tan's Tea, uh, that you think it's awesome. I think it's good. I think it's good to see fathers and sons in this kind of space and forum. Having good conversation. We have thought of having the Mokos do a takeover. Yeah, well, you know what they say about working with animal, animals and children on live television. Is that right, Māori Maiden? You can make a career out of VR Beat Saber. I mean, there's some incredible Beat Saberists that I've watched, and I'm like, how? How? I love it. I love playing Beat Saber, because I sort of feel like I'm playing lightsaber drums. You definitely get a sweat on. And you get a sweat on. And I need to get more of a sweat on. She's saying it's uh, so there was a bit of a typo there, but all oh, right, kids want to know how to make a living out of a career out of gaming. 
I know, because the reality is, even if you go to Twitch and so forth, if you go, you know, my son watches this guy, Dares Gaming, or I can't remember his name, but um, there's some people who manage to crack it, but it's usually a pretty small percentage, and they probably make it look easier than it is. Oh, um, I, I just had a correction. Um, Oz uh, just uh, PM'd me and said that uh, that Regan Bowser art was actually Horomono, and I knew that actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, just the bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Horo. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you'd have him on. Sure, I mean his TikTok, well, his missus TikTok content. Oh, play this. Can you play this Horo? Yeah, can you play this Horo? <laughs> Hysterical. <laughs> My favourite one of all time is him playing a um, telephone pole. Like the, yeah, the like hole, the hole of the telephone pole. Ah, that was funny, man. Fuddle, can yeah. you play this? There's a hole in the, <laughs> in the. Was it a telephone? Was it a concrete bloody power yeah, pole? Yeah, concrete power pole. Yeah, I yeah, know, and there's a hole in it, and he went up and, and played it. Funny. <laughs> um, Nita Rewa, sorry, off topic a bit. But please, can you help me better understand? After Māori being rebelised in speech rights, back in the day, e.g. supporting the Kingitanga, what continued from that time that put high numbers of Māori in prison? Oh, that's a, it sounds like it might have helped. Uh, that might have been a Julie question. Julia, yeah, yeah, Julia, Julia would have answered that. I think... Um I think the the connection between that the rebel when we were rebelized, i.e., we were persecuted and well prosecuted for participating for defending defending our lands from an alien invasion. But you know that's how it happened. They, they, they brought in their laws and suddenly we became criminals. However, that happened. Uh, the the tricks and smokes and mirrors of colonization. Uh, so that's the link there. I think that after that. After you lose your land, after you have your culture and your leadership structures and your entire rangatiratanga stripped, and then you're forced to live inside of a new culture and paradigm and system that has laws that are set up to benefit the alien invaders, you then become criminals over and over and over again. And that's how it works. That's how yeah. it had. It had. That's exactly how it works. So that's the connection between being rebelized back yeah. in the day to the incarceration rates of Maori now. Is yeah, that well, they, they did have a law. They, they did have a law in 1863, yes. uh, rebellious act, and uh, they can. Um, they, they made it so they can. Um, yeah, make an excuse that you have committed a crime against the Crown. Bank confiscation laws was through the uh, Rebellious Act. Yeah, I, I, I'm sure not exactly the implementation of more and more acts. You know, this is where Moana Jackson, who just recently pla passed, was incredible in the way that he laid out the argument of, of what I've just basically said. But he would go in and talk to rooms full of Pakia policy and lawmakers and say the exact same thing in a much more elegant and succinct manner. Uh, but I myself am of a mind that we, we cannot go back. We must remember that that's actually what happened. They brought in their own laws and they made us into criminals. And the successive generations that were traumatized by that process were further made into criminals inside of a justice system that was set to, to further uh, oppress us. That is clear in evidence, clear in data. Like, there's been a lot of research done about that. Many academics would argue that that's how it happened. Um, that, for me, though, doesn't mean that all laws are 
then null and void or then just a reason for the park here to or a way for the park here to dominate us i think there are some quite reasonable laws that are currently in place around the protection of the environment around um uh, doing things better uh, but now I think the fight is about structural change and how we achieve that structural change within the system within the system that is currently there because there is no going back there's none so how do we make the best the best changes that we can to recognize the place of tangata whenua of Maori of the Treaty of Waitangi within that space. That is an ongoing job, that is a, 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 that is a mahi, that is ongoing, and we need better advocates, more advocates, and we need to be uh, asking a lot of hard questions, but not only to the Pākehā, but also to ourselves yeah, yeah. as we journey through, through, through it. Like, for example, should women now be speaking on the pai? As we evolve and we move through these things, we need to be... Uh, having very challenging and difficult conversations across the board. Yes, we must be holding the criminal justice system to account. It would have been great to have Julia on here today because she is very clear uh, on the perpetuating of that colonial mindset on our population. Especially, you know, they were looking at, at bringing in the, uh, the rapid armed enforcement squads after the mosque shooting you know and we all knew who was going to be dying at the end of that policy it was going to be Māori and so she was there and there were others there going we do not need a rapid armed response team rolling out to South Auckland dealing with traffic stops we also do not need cops going into situations where there is mental health issues and aggravating and escalating the situation to the point where our people get shot and killed. We need to find better ways to deal with the issues. So there's certainly a lot of work that needs to be done in that space. But kia ora, Nita for the conversation. You want to be an advocate? Ka pai. But I need to learn more. Yes, lots of my understanding have gaps. I appreciate these cordial and space to ask the pros. Oh, gee. Not sure if we're pros necessarily, but, um, but kia ora. Any, any way that we can try and have these conversations is, is good. Yeah. Education. Education is a, is a tool to better advocate Equity versus equality argument. Yeah. Equity and equality are not the same thing. <laughs> and that's why you have things like affirmative action. It's not about equality, it's about equity. When you're trying to get Māori into some of these more exclusive spaces of and professions And I think also when it comes to advocacy, you need a lot of different people playing different roles. You need people who are willing to go inside of the system and to affect policy shifts and policy change. That's kind of the space I'm in at the moment. 
but you also need people on the outside going, this is Māori land, give it back. Except in a one cent in the dollar settlement is not good enough. This is the history. We are the original and true tangata whenua of Aotearoa and it's not too late to give it all back. No. And you need people out there saying that because we need to be reminded of that. That they came in here and they passed their own laws and made us criminals and stole all the land. <laughs> so are you talking bro? Are you talking to us or talking to somebody else? Oh, your headphone. If you hear us, then your headphone's not dead. It's because I've got my microphone muted. Sorry about oh, yes. that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah, I was, and, and I suppose what you're just saying there about having those people who are, you know, what, what's the the line you do where, where it's you know vigilance is the liberator, and um, and someone like Julia who's going it'd be very easy for somebody who's not who hasn't uh, isn't accustomed to the police um, or being a statistic on those uh, on the you know in terms of incarceration and um, for you to just go oh yeah no that's cool we should have guns because because of the um, the mosque shooting and this this is it for our safety mm. but but to come from that side of well actually Maoris are the ones that are the, that suffer the most from it will be brown people it will be yeah. Maori and Pacific Islanders in South Auckland will be the first people to die at yeah. the end of a police gun if they brought out yeah. rapid armed rapid response teams without a doubt without a doubt yeah and uh and it's it like even as a Maori I might not I might not even consider that mm. You know, that I might not. It's not a. Uh, it's not a perspective. It's just like, oh, but once you start to talk about that, then you're like, oh, that okay, that that makes complete sense. That we would suffer for something uh, that that would just that everyone else thinks is just going to be uh, yeah. for our safety. Yeah, and other than the mosque shooting, there was no other data to support that police were under any more threat from from criminals or armed criminals than at any other time so why bring in that policy you're basing that policy on on what was um the argument paranoia because they're yeah on paranoia and hey oh this is an opportunity there's white supremacists out there who are armed and maybe we need to arm ourselves and it's like well <laughs> i bet you 100 percent white supremacists are not going to be the ones who are getting killed well the only time they ever flex the anti-terror laws <laughs> was against the Māori or a group of Māori. Yeah. And the Law Society actually wrote when they brought in those terrorist, terrorist uh, the terrorist legislation, which they actually couldn't supply, uh, they couldn't apply. You know, the, remember that the Attorney General said, no, you can't actually uh, press charges under the Terrorism Act. But yeah. the Law Society did, when they wrote the Terrorism Act, did say that it would be Māori activists that would be the first to be uh, prosecuted under this act. Yeah. Oh, we got the bro uh, Matthew Tukaki on there. Yeah, Kira. get on, Matt. I gotta go on the show at 8.30. I so, win tonight. Yeah. On Radio Watia. And he's just saying here, remember those rapid response units we fought against two years ago? They were targeting brown postcodes, full stop. Full stop. And then he's, he's put in a, uh, a New Zealand Herald article there. Yeah. And so that's the, that's the vigilance that you're talking about, bro. It doesn't yeah. stop, you know, and it is, it, it is hidden and can be difficult to see for the general public who are just out there working and doing their jobs and, and getting on with their lives, which is the majority of us. So it is incredibly important to have those people who are watching those spaces and are advocating within those spaces. The likes of Moana Jackson, of Julia Faiporti, Matthew Tukaki, in his role as a, uh, a a voice that can say 
the right things. They're like social agitators, aren't they? Yeah, totally. You need yeah. people who that the media will listen to that you can get who can put a soundbite together and can yeah. put that put our view across. Absolutely. You need those you need those people and they aren't necessarily paid jobs. They're nope. just people who are willing to stand up and voice our view and our perspective. And it's an important role to play. Otherwise, if there wasn't that vigorous opposition to those kinds of policies that you know you're talking about the state who starts floating these ideas they were you know these are this is a lot of money and resource that were put towards bringing that idea of rapid response teams together so it's incredibly important that we have a deep pool of people keeping their eye on those things yeah particularly now that uh, the old man's retired or is doing it through art? Doing it through art. Yep. Uh, I saw... I, my, my thinking hasn't changed. Just that the, my practice has changed. But, then, but I still had those uh, whakaaro. Mm. Mm. That hasn't changed. My politics still the same. I'm a socialist. <laughs> uh, Nita was just asking if you could repeat those names, bro. Who? The, the the names of uh, you you had uh, Matthew Tukaki. Oh yeah, Moana Maniapoto who has just passed. Uh, Julia Faiporti. Uh, Julia is the spokesperson for Just Speak. Just Speak. If you look that up, uh, Nita. J U S T S P E A K. Just Speak. And they are a advocacy group for justice reform reform within the justice system, the justice sector, criminal justice. Uh, I heard Julia talk about, for instance, people who have gone in, well men, who have gone in and served a 10 year lag for a criminal activity, but how they got into that criminal activity, you could, you know, it's another court at all, but they'll come out and the IRD will suddenly hit them with arrears for child support while they've been inside including penalties yeah. now that's just policy and the policy hasn't been shifted or rewritten so that is yeah. a policy that has an impact on people who have come out of prison served their time to society for their crime and then are criminalized again so how do you actually go in there to go is that a good policy has anyone really looked at that closely have you has there been any studies done on the impact that does on recidivism in terms of crime does that cause somebody to go oh fuck i'm fucked i might as well just carry on being a criminal and and is a roadblock for them actually leading a less criminal life moving forward after they come out of prison is this the sort of policy that perhaps needs to be looked at and changed so that's the sort of bahi that <laughs> groups like just speak do because our legal system is full of those little clauses and bits and pieces which guide the behavior of bureaucrats so that's a policy that sits inside of ird not inside of the criminal justice system, but says that, well, it doesn't matter if you haven't paid your child support. Uh, there's no policy saying that you get a get out of jail free when you were in jail for your child support. But how is somebody expected to actually pay that child support while they're in jail? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's, a, that's why it's important to have a, a movement of people. You not, you not rely upon individual lawyers or academic um, because it's, it's, it's involved a whole lot of group of people. You know, and I think it's important that uh, right across the board you, you need to have people. The movement must be built by the grassroots level. 
And, um, mm. and that, that, that's, that's why I really like the, the sympathy in, in the way we conduct and the way we, we pull people together to have a voice. Um, you don't really need a lawyer to tell us how to suck eggs, really. You know, the really important is that, that how do you reach out to the mass? You know, just ordinary people in Dainiacho or just people on the street. And, and yet, you know, they, they, you, you, you need to get that, uh, that movement. Otherwise, we, we, everybody just stay home and get stoned and get pressed and get on the pee. Yeah, so we, you, you really need to uh, elevate and, um, uh, and yeah, incite and, and create the, this movement. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I was saying where there's got to be different roles. There are different roles. People play different roles. Yeah, yeah, of we course. We had that in course. our society before the park turned course. up. Of course. People played different roles. And and somebody here, uh, Te Tapua Roberts, saying because Māori right. have different values to the Crown, we should be the ones taking care of our own. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 we yeah, should yeah. be absolutely the ones taking care, care of yeah. our own. But never, you know, we're not at the same time. No, um, no. And there's a number of reasons why we are not the ones taking care of our own. We certainly don't have the capacity, if you come back to the whārua, you know, to the hokainga, we currently do not have the capacity to, to, to look after some of those really difficult cases, even some of the not so difficult cases. That's the reality. I'm not saying that we can't get there, but we currently don't. That's the dream though, bro. Kia ora taikawa, taikawa over on, on Twitch. Taikawa. Tēnā koe e whā. One of the founding members te, of Dante Gaming. Tēnā koe e wēnei kōrero, o wēnei kōrero. Uh, te kaupapa, he a tēnā koe, he a tēnā koe o wēnei kōrero. E he's, just, he's just, he's come in just as we've been talking about. Uh, uh, I think the nako, the nako of the kōrero, uh, ko hinga te, uh, te tōtara. I'm Juana Jackson. That's what stimulated the this corridor aye, aye. of the mahi that he did, and the mahi that needs to continue to happen within that space of advocacy for reform in the justice uh, system uh, and across across our society, really, social justice. And kei a wai te mahi. Kei a wai hei kawe te rā kaupapa. And what I'm quite, I, am quite, I am quite interested, speaking of roles, you know, I am quite interested particularly with Māori who are, you know, forming, particularly young Māori who are forming these communities online and in these spaces, on Discord, in those, in these gaming communities. Yeah. You know, and they're, they're becoming a new marae of sorts. Mm. You know, yeah. and um, and Dad, I know that when you, when we, you know, when we were said that you know when you were on Spell's channel and you were like, yeah, I'm gonna start doing twi uh, some Twitch stuff. Everyone was like, yeah, that's cool. Like that's what Twitch needs is a oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. is a, a, an old radical doing art on it like how does that work i don't know and so uh, i don't know and they were everyone was excited everyone was like yes that that's cool it's just it's not something that's uh yeah yeah you know that's out there at the moment so um yeah yeah and i think it's been it's been interesting to see particularly you know seeing maori in these spaces on TikTok, on twitch you know and and starting to do uh create these communities in these ways that uh, um, are organically bringing um, Māori from all over the world together. So, you know, and whether that's through gaming. So, uh, Taikawa, I'm, I'm interested because uh, you've, uh, Axiom has said that you're one of the, you know, the co-founders of Nati Gaming. Like, what was, what was the reason or what was the impetus to bring that group together and, and did it just happen organically or just a group of your mates or is it uh was there something deeper and broader to that don't know be interested 
and from anyone else in the uh, out there that's uh that might be doing this kind of thing Yeah, ka huri ki te reo pākia pia mā, mā, mā rātou e tai kawa, e whakamārama, e... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, we, we're probably getting to the end of our, um, our... Oh, uh, we've still got 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 it's been running slow tonight, so... Um... Well, a- okay. Axi- Axiom's the, uh, the 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 agent on this. Uh, oh no, it was Porkbone, wasn't it? He passed it over to uh, a few of the Futsuporo here. Axiom and Axiom's are like, oh no, uh, Taikawa, ko Taikawa te tangata. Ah. Oh yeah, give him a sec. <laughs> cool. Ah, bye. Yeah, Who's coming bye. on? Oh, bro, Taikawa. Taikawa. Okay, so let me just, uh, I'm probably going to have to, how am I going to do this? That's the thing with these Twitch guys, they just, uh, let's see if I can Discord them. Because he'd come in, he'd have to come in via Zoom, eh? He can't come in via Yeah, Switch. he'll have to come in via Zoom, but um, that's okay. It's just a, that's a standard link. He'll be able to do that. <coughs> Oops, sorry, sorry. God oh, damn it. Yeah, why? Oh no, he was right in the corridor. Him and his cousin playing uh, Apex Legends. The bro wasn't raised with the privilege of our real as I was. Otahi mano kaika. So the bro asked, can you teach me more real, more vocab, more culture? So I changed the whole vocab of the game. We jammed together. Mean. Oh. <coughs> So you jam kei roto i te reo e taikawa Then they opened the always to other Māori who wanted a similar experience. It turned into a Discord community for Māori by Māori. So I thought it was a safe place for us. Bugger. Without the aunties or those Māori who would bite your head off. Mm. Kapai. What's the uh, the Discord? Taikawa. Takatapui friendly zone where the haters get bounced. Good. Place to educate with Manaki. Center. Yeah, post it. It's all good.
Uh, I don't know if it'll. All oh, right, will it not work on? Yeah, I think Axiom just tried to post it up, but it hasn't come up. Oh, sure, Māori Maiden. <coughs> she knows what's going on. Yeah. So that was GG. It's on Radio Wat there at uh, 8.30, Pale Ale. Dad's going on with uh, Matt in about 30 minutes. Dope. That's a great aspiration. Taikawa. To place the first Māori speaking team on an international esports stage. Cool. See you next time. Pavi on Facebook, um, you've just actually, we, we were just talking about, uh, Dad did actually speak at length uh, earlier in the stream uh, around um, regarding Moana Jackson's request of for why he needed to speak on the marae. Um, so you'll have to uh, bounce back to when we finish the stream. You can re-watch it at the beginning there. Oh, thanks, uh, Māori Maiden. I will take that and I will put that. I will add us to the Discord. Or rather, request. Oh, Dad, apparently you know uh, Taikawa's parents, Paulette Tamati Ilefi and Kameen Cassidy. Yeah. Where are they? Well, I'm just trying to think. I, I do know their name. Kormini. Paulette and Kormini. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. South Island, close. Dunedin. Yeah, you just said Dunedin, yeah. That's yeah, Dunedin. One. Oh, I haven't heard from you there for a while there, my bro, because he used to get me down there. We go and talk. Over Who's the years. Many? Yep. Oh, yeah. Back in the 80s. Oh. 80s and 90s, I don't know. Shit, I haven't heard that smallly for a while.
let's go for a hunt. What in the in the digital world or the real world, Taikawa? Hey, you fellas got some mean climb winer down there. Why not both, eh? Hey? Yeah, totally. Join the Discord server. Always need TT, my bro. Always. Well, if you folks got a spare bucket or a half a bucket, I would love to have one. Send the bucket, my bro. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. The Haka Peep Show for the Rugby World Cup. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. You remember when you did that? Uh, what's her name with uh, Rakena? Hmm. Yeah, you put 50 cents, you can see me doing the haka. It's <laughs> as tall as a three story building. Rachel, Rachel Rakina. Yeah, that's it. Stream link for the radio show. Uh, yeah, let me get that. I'll put that up. Was that, uh, is that on Twitch? Mm, no, was that, that was Joff wow. over on uh, Facebook. Have you got that, bro? Yeah, I'll get it. Oh, well, that's us. Eight o'clock. Sorry, it was just us. Yeah. Just us having a call it all. Oh, I have to do it on here. Uh, yeah, if you go to, sorry folks, I'll, I'll, I'll chuck it in the chats, but um, if you go to, uh, I think, Wate 6.03 a.m., Radio Wat here. And then there's an online, listen online. Yeah, 830. The Wateanews.com. That's it. With two A's on the Wat here. They didn't use a hyphen. They did W A A T E A news.com. Wateanews.com. And then listen online. Yeah, I've got it here. I'm post I'm posting it in there now. Here it is in Facebook. There it is in Twitch. Hey, uh, good to good quarter all um, coming out of Twitch tonight. So wow. thank you, Fano. Good to yeah. see you. It's usually sort of the usual suspects, but uh, nice to have some some newbies good. come in. Cheer, Maori so Maiden. Good. Thank you as always for holding it down. For sure. Kakite yako to e huama. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see you back on. Oh wait. Uh, Thursday. I, I'm not. I'm not going to be here on Thursday. Oh, maybe I will be. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see if Tiki will come on with me next week because I've got to go do some stuff with him. So. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Done. Sold. Yep. So, <laughs> all right. Okay. Cheers. See you, folks. Kaki. Kaki de Koto. More than up. Wow. Oh.